weekend event that helps to prepare youth for an increasing technolo increasingly technologically oriented future. While we teach our core pioneer skills, today's pioneers are involved in the space program. If the young people today want to be ready for this future, they need the STEM skills that we focus on. Space exploration, robots, robotics, electronics, radio, engineering, and aviation are just a few of the 38 merit badges we are offering. Our theme this year is the history of aviation, and with the help of the Young Eagles program, we're able to offer actual airplane rides to scouts. Our event is located in Rantoul, Illinois Airport, formerly the Chinook Air Base. Some, there were some Tuskegee Airmen who began their training here. Next year, our theme will be the future of space exploration. Thank you, Denny. Now we'll be turning it over to David Williams, who will be running our QSO today. David is a adjunct professor at SIU, specializes in electronic circuits, and a scoutmaster. NA1SS, NA1SS, this is WB9SA calling for our scheduled contact. WB9SA, this is NA1SS, loud and clear, over. Very good, we copy you loud and clear as well. We've got a scout sitting here and he's ready to ask a question. Are you prepared? We are prepared, go ahead, over. How old were you when you decided to become an astronaut? Over. Yes, I was uh, about uh, maybe seven when I started to dream about going to space. At that time, we did not have any Japanese astronauts, so I didn't know how to go to space. But when I was in high school, uh, the first Japanese astronauts were selected, and then uh, I decided to become an astronaut. How important is it to be fit in space? Over. It is very important to be fit in space. Uh, we have to be healthy every day to do that. And also, uh, if we go out into outer space uh, on a spacewalk, we have to be very strong. So it is very important to be fit in space. Over. What advice would you give to a young woman that wants to be an astronaut? Over. I would say uh, dream uh, uh, what you want to be, or, you know, to be a national, uh, dream high, uh, work hard, and uh, uh, be nice to your friends, and uh, just uh, be yourself. Over. Do you like flying airplanes, helicopters, or spaceships best? Over. That is a difficult question, but I would say uh, flying-wise, uh, airplanes, because it goes fast and you can maneuver. Spaceships, it's very uh, high altitude and uh, fast, but uh, basically you uh, you uh, uh, turn on the engines and then just sit there. So it's more fun to fly airplanes. Over. Can you see your room from space? Over. Yes, my house right now is in Houston, Texas. Uh, I did see Houston, but my house is so tiny I couldn't see it. Over. Can you swim in the air in the space Thank station? You. Over. I tried swimming. I was in a swimming team in high school. I tried swimming in the space station. Uh, I tried breath is my uh, which was my specialty. Uh, however, I started moving backwards. What is the most important change in the space station? Over. Over. I think the most important change in the space station is that it is growing. Uh, we have a lot of room, a lot of modules, and only six of us up here uh, working. Uh, but the size is going to increase again. We're going to have another part delivered in a couple of years. So uh, it's going to get... Uh, more interesting, more science to be done. Over. Is it true that it will take over a year to go to Mars and back? Over. And that is correct. Uh, it would take uh, half a year to a year to go to Mars and then about the same uh, duration coming back. And you'll have to stay on Mars for maybe half a year uh, so that you can uh, get off Mars and come back uh, very efficiently. 
So that means it's going to be uh, more than a year and maybe up to three years. Over. What vegetables can you grow in space on your way to Mars? Over. That's a very interesting question. Uh, I know that on the, the International Space Station we've grown uh, wheat in the past. Uh, I don't know any other vegetable. I, I know that we've uh, grown a small cucumber, and uh, but it is very important to grow something in space if we, if we want to go to Mars. Because uh, right now on the International Space Station, everything is delivered from Earth. However, we can't do everything like that when we're going to Mars. So it is going to be very important to try to supply our own food on the way on our vehicle. Over. Do you think you should artificially isolate a test crew for a year over? Yes, actually we've done that uh, and uh, it was more than a year. It was like 500 days in the past. That was, I think, is the record. Uh, we had people, uh, maybe uh, four to eight people in one uh, isolation uh, facility. And uh, they were working there and uh, people were what kind of improvements they can do, what kind of effect will isolation have on the crew, and they monitored. Now those data will be very important when we are thinking about a mission to Mars. So I think it is a very important test to do that on the ground. During a heavily automated flight to Mars, would um, how would you personally fight boredom? Over. Over. That's an interesting question. Uh, right now on the space station, we are very busy, so we don't have any time to be bored. Um, if we do, we have a window that we can look out and uh, take a look at the Earth, and it is very beautiful, so we don't get bored. But if it's a uh, flight to Mars, you know, it's going to be just a uh, pitch black, uh, dark space outside the window. So um, it will be very hard to fight the boredom. But I, I would say... Uh, you know, with the crew, talk to the crew, you know, have emails from friends and families, that might be good. Will the crew on a Mars mission have both women, men and women? Over. Absolutely. I think uh, we will have both men and women, uh, but the more important question is uh, not about gender, but uh, their skills and ability to perform uh, on the Mars mission very well. Over. Could the landing capsule on Mars transform into a contained rover with wheels? Over. Over. I wish that it, it could transform. However, I think uh, the current uh, design is the capsule will uh, separate the, tra uh, the uh, rover from it, and then the rover will uh, work on its own. Over. How will spacesuits be different on Mars, and have you tried on the Mark III spacesuit? Over. I have not tried the Mark III spacesuit, but uh, the spacesuit that we have on uh, space, space Station weighs a ton. You know, it's like 180 kilograms. So uh, if we go to Mars, that's going to be very heavy and we won't be able to walk. So we need to make it uh, very light, but also be able to sustain life. Over. Is it true that dust devils on Mars create huge static electrical charges? Over. I think that is the uh, hypothesis right now, and I'm sure uh, a lot of uh, data will be uh, collected in the uh, next couple of years to uh, verify that. Over. Will we find water on Mars and where? Over. I certainly hope so, uh, because water is, uh, is a proof that life uh, could be or was on Mars. And uh, we haven't found it yet. Uh, maybe it's on underground. Over. Do you think there's life on Mars? Mars. Okay. Over. I would certainly hope so. Then uh, we would have uh, a next door neighbor. Over. Is there any atmosphere on Mars to su to support flight? Over. Over. Yes, there is uh, atmosphere, atmosphere on Mars. Um, it's a, the composition is a little different from uh, Earth, so we can't breathe uh, without a spacesuit, but uh, it should support flight. Over. Is radiation 100 times worse on Mars than Earth? 
And how can we protect people? Over. Over. I think there's we have atmosphere and some magnetic field on Mars. Uh, it's, uh, it might be worse than Earth, but it should be uh, protected a little bit. Um, the worst part of the trip is when we're outside and out of space. That's when the radiation can hit us. Over. Are there lava tubes on Mars that could be living space for people? Over. I would hope so, and uh, that would help us uh, build a space, uh, uh, Mars base on uh, on the ground on Mars. Over. Is it possible that a crew on Mars would be out of commission for some time due to the planet's rotation? Thank you. Over. Thank you. Yes, uh, I think that is true, and also the distance between Mars and uh, uh, Earth uh, will have uh, some communication delay. Right now we're talking uh, uh, just like normal, but it's going to be a couple of minutes uh, between communications. Over. Well, we soon have a full-time moon base. Over. I would certainly hope so, and I would hope that uh, be there. Over. Going to the moon is within 10 years. Over. Over. You gotta go up one, right? NA1SS, NA1SS. This is WB9SA. 73s, and have a tremendous day. We'll give you a cheer. Everybody. Yay! Yay! NA1SS, NA1SS, 73. Talk to you soon. Can he put his question out to Yeah, you? go ahead. Try it. Is it true that sleep and wake times in space are on a 24-hour schedule in life? Over. Over. Very good. NA1SS, NA1SS, WD9SA, Tiny Clear. Thank you very much. And there you have it, guys. Let's give these young men a hand. Woo! This is every day on Mars.